The latest film in the DCEU, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, dropped in theaters last weekend. So, here's my take on it. Hi, my name is Nathan, and I talk about a bunch of movies and TV on this channel. If you're new here, down below in the comment section, share what you thought of Shazam! Fury of the Gods over on my channel. I have more content like this. Check those out right now. And be sure to click that like button and subscribe. It really does help a lot. With that said, let's just get straight into it, talking about the good. And to me, this is just a fun time at the movies. It has the charming cast and characters that were so present in the first Shazam. And these characters are people that you actually enjoy spending time with. And because of that, it just has so much youthful energy to it, much like the first Shazam. And I have the hiccups. So throughout the video, I'll be having the hiccups. But because of the youthful energy, that this film contains, it is able to be just as watchable, if not more entertaining, than the original Shazam. It's just an easy to digest, good time at the movies, where I could sit down and rewatch Shazam Theory of the Gods, maybe more than I can sit down and rewatch the original Shazam. And that's what I really enjoyed about this film. It has all of the stuff that you want from a Shazam movie. I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family. While also being this big blockbuster, big budget superhero movie. Other thing to talk about here, there's just some great and compelling villains thrown into the mix. I mean, they're played by some great act actresses and it just expands the mythology, dives into the lore, and because of that, I think the villains are maybe more compelling than Dr. Savannah from the first Shazam. And because of that, it builds all this world building and, mytho and mythology about the wizards their powers, how they would choose the one that would be worthy of the powers of Shazam. And so I just thought that was really cool about this movie. Other thing to talk about here, it's just larger in scale than the first film. The first film was just about Billy Batson fighting this guy in Philadelphia. Here, it actually has some world ending stakes that matter for not only our Shazam family, but the rest of the world as well. And because of that, I just think that it feels a lot more focused. How do you say this? It feels a lot more focused because it knows exactly what it's trying to do and it's doing it. And speaking of focus, it has a more focused tone than the original Shazam. The original Shazam will cut from Dr. Savannah killing people to Shazam and the silly Shazam jokes. And that's what I enjoyed about it. But you could also clearly see that there's quite a bit of tonal shifts there. But here, I think that it actually balances out the tone a lot better as our villains get these standout moments in the movie as well. And in general, that's what I really enjoyed about it. And so, in general, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And if you want another adventure with Shazam and things like that, Def definitely go watch this movie if you haven't already. From there, it's not a perfect movie, so let's move on to the bad. And there are quite a few problems that I do have with this film. First one up here is that just feels a lot more generic than the original. What made the original interesting was that it was a 14-year-old boy that turns into a superhero. And that's what made it a lot of fun. There were a bunch of fun antics that comes with that, and, it, and the original just did that really well. But here, it's about them fighting this 
these big CGI dragon monsters in the third act of it, which I enjoy that kind of stuff, but I've seen it way too many times before, and so I feel like, yeah, been there, done that. We've done this before. And second one up here, the original Shazam just had so much heart. Where, where while it's a fun antique superhero movie, it also was able to have themes about family. But this boy that was searching for a family his entire life, and through becoming Shazam and things like that, he finally finds one. That's what's really interesting about it. But you could tell they were, you could clearly tell they were trying to do it with this film, and I didn't think it was nearly as effective as it was in the first film. Third one up here, they released this TV spot, and yes, it is a spoiler. So if you haven't seen the movie, you probably have seen the movie by now. Skip forward about five seconds in three, two, one. Stick to saving the world, kid. And so this is this here is really frustrating because this would have been just awesome to see if I had not known this character was going to be in this movie. But instead, they decided to spoil it. Which is very confusing to me, and so that dampened some of my experience with it. I could not believe they added a TV spot like that. But overall, I still I still enjoy this movie. I'll give it a B. If you love the DCE, you go see it. But if you don't really like superhero movies nowadays, you could probably skip this one. Down below in the comment section, share what you thought of Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Click that like button, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. I will see you in the next one. Oh.